everybody, welcome to The Shot Clock alongside Nick Picoro, Diamondbacks Insider. I'm Jay, and let's start the clock. Hey Nick, have you filled out your bracket, the spring training bracket? Uh, who's going to win the cactus? Never. A <laughs> uh, couple of big things on the Diamondbacks horizon. First of all, you wrote about A.J. Pollock, and he's entering his contract year, the last year of his contract. He has to make a decision, Diamondbacks have to make a decision. Um, little this, little that, but what do you really think he's feeling going into this year? Uh, I think he's probably, I don't know, I don't know what, he, what he's thinking, to yeah. be honest. I, I, I think probably that, uh, you know, this could be the end for A.J. Pollock. I think, I think we all recognize that possibility, but, I, you know, the, the market was really strange this offseason. So I think that opens it up for anything, and plus the Dimebacks are spending a little bit more money yeah. now than a lot of us expected. So that, that's also, you know, bodes well for the possibility of him returning. They had the luxury of sitting back and waiting to see if it's the 20 steal, 25 home run A.J. Pollock, or if sure. it's an injury-riddled season, and we'll see what happens. Speaking of uh, concerns, Zach Greinke, <laughs> velocity, this story won't die, and of course he won't let it die, <laughs> because it's a story. Um, Greinke apparently ready to take the hill tomorrow, either in a B-League game or in the main game. In the main game. And so what do we expect? I don't know. I mean, I think that until he, it, it's, it's the same as last year, right? Until he shows that he can either throw harder or succeed with this level of velocity currently, it's a story. Um, you know, I think that every pitcher has a different threshold for where the lowest they can succeed is. And Granke's, I think, is probably lower with, in terms of velocity. But we don't know exactly where that line is until we actually see him no longer be able to succeed. So 82, probably not acceptable. 87 to 89, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, he's never pitched at 87, right? So, you know, it, it could be that he's fine there, but we're just going to have to find out. Follow this guy, azcentral.com. Diamondbacks insider Nick Picoro. Zach Greinke gets the start tomorrow. That's all the time we have on the Shot Clock for Nick. Thanks for coming in. Sure. I'm Jay. Have a great day.